I'm Patrick. Together, we are JP Adventures 19. It stopped raining and it's not dark yet, so we decided to start building the overhang. First cut here. It's raining just a little bit. Look at this. <laughs> So we are working with these drawings. Actually, we have the drawings in CAD, and then the CAD just wrote everything down so we can take it into the shed. And we're, right now, we're working on this part of the overhang, and we have to change the angles all the time. <laughs> it's like 31 degrees, 30 degrees, 27.5. We've done this one already because it was easy. It was just like um, 90 degree angles. But now this is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> So of course we're measuring and measuring and measuring even more in the rain. <laughs> little metal worker at work. She's doing the little ones on the wheel. And I'm doing the big big pipes. The Smile. Smile. <laughs> Put together the base of the overhang and this is the only thing we can do because it's a bit late and now we'll spot weld it on and that's it for today because actually we need to use the center punch but this will be too loud and we all have to work tomorrow so that's all we can do today so that's the job for tomorrow yay <laughs> We have realized, if you look at these, we have all these little dots, so that means the gas bottle is empty. We used up every last <laughs> bit, which is yeah. exactly what we wanted. It is at zero, you can see it here. And especially here, this is the important one. Once that needle goes to zero, yeah. it means no more flow, so that's it completely empty we actually got lucky that we could finish the brush bars yesterday <laughs> literally the last one <laughs> wow <laughs> yes yeah, so one of these gas bottles is between 180 and 200 dollars a refill because our farmer actually owns the bottle so we don't have to pay rent for that only for like the refill look this is gonna be our guest bed <laughs> The overhang. <laughs> oh yeah, you can sleep in there. Must <laughs> to come on a ride with us. <laughs> it's that time again. Jesus. If you are wondering why we drill holes into the bars, this is a quick explanation of the whole overhang. So the overhang will be around here, down here and only until here. And it will be removable because we have, we still have to be able to um, tilt the cap. And so we drill in a bunch of holes, two on each side and a bunch on the bottom and top. 
so we can actually remove it again if we have to and we will drill through a seal as well in the middle so it should be waterproof and yeah that's what we're doing right now and then we'll weld everything together and see if it works out and it's dark again and raining so i hope the quality doesn't get too bad but what we're doing now is actually welding all the parts together we start with the base that's going to go onto the box where we drill the holes into and then the rest so patrick's running off the scene so they're nice and flat like always <laughs> So it's too cold for Yele. I have my new Aldi work hoodie on and it keeps me nice and warm in this cold. So I'm gonna keep working while she makes dinner. This is what I have so far. So I actually we actually spot welded this frame yesterday, just the, the outline of the bottom, but it didn't fit properly, so it was too wide here and too narrow here so I had to break them again regrind it put it back on respot weld it now it fits spot weld it in the middle beam and now I'm going to do the outsides <laughs> So yesterday we had to take a break and couldn't continue because we got some visitors. Relatable roamers visited us. And so we'll do the rest of the welding today. removing location so this is the back part that's gonna go onto the box and so let me grab some of these let's go push it lock so we are placing it now and where it belongs and then we'll clamp it and try to drill the holes through. <laughs> right position now and we clamped it um, onto the inner frame and now we're trying to use the cordless <laughs> drill to drill a hole through the sheet and the pipes because the big metabo drill is at home at the farmer's house so it's not here sadly not sure if this is gonna work out It doesn't work. Not strong enough. It would work. If you just sit there for 20 hours for <laughs> And we can't have the drill back until tomorrow. So what are we gonna do now? We'll see. Second attempt. A drill with a cord. <laughs> Still not very powerful, but might work better than the other one. We'll see. Check it out, we have a visitor. <laughs> We're getting somewhere steel delivered. Once again. 
we are wearing our safety boots. Look at this. These are our trims that go around the corners with them. 50 by 50. So oh, this morning we already had a call, a video call with a company, which was really good. And now I'm just finishing off some stuff and Patrick already started drilling the holes of the overhang because the farmer um, brought the drill with him. So now we can get going on that again. Let's go and have a look at what Patrick's doing. And here we go. How's it going, Patrick? Oh, not well. How many have you done so far? One and a half. Oh no! <laughs> there are way too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen or fourteen? Thirteen. Oh my god. Will take all day long. Mm -hmm. And you'll be sore, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look happy. He just made it through the first layer. <laughs> Alright, Yale. Yeah, Give it a try. Nope, bottom one. Not done yet. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. We got some pellets instead of um, standing on the forks <laughs> of the forklift. So now they should be in a really good height, so Patrick can put more pressure on. And also, um, we started drilling pilot holes with a thinner drill, so it's a lot easier than the thick one straight away, because this is 12.5. Um, We are putting the screws in so it doesn't move anymore. So at the end, all holes should fit. And so he's gonna hold the screw. I'm going on the inside. Oh wow, that's a tricky one and I have to put the nut on. So before we do the insulation, we will actually weld on the nuts because we won't be able to get there anymore. My beautiful girlfriend is giving it a try now. He's forcing I'm me. I'm sure she will do just fine. <laughs> I'm glad he only forced me to do one because I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this again, Patrick. <laughs> so now the next time we have to drill. <laughs> he's doing the last one. <laughs> We're done drilling all the holes, so now we will take the frame off again. So unscrew the bolts and take it off. 
And then we can actually weld on the rest of the overhang that's going to be like this. Just gonna clean up the edge of the holes because we haven't done it yet. So, using the big drill bit. Yeah, it's a bigger one than the holes are. Just using it like a countersink. Because we don't have one. <laughs> We can weld it on, or Patrick can weld it on. <laughs> Patrick grinded down all the seams, so now they're nice and flat again. And now we are building the angles of the overhang. Will be fun, Patrick. <laughs> so there, he, down here we use the welding magnet so it can't slip off. And up here we just put another bar on top. And now, Patrick has to weld it. Let's go. And we got some banana chip snacks from the farmer. Look at this. Patrick, how do you like our overhang? It's gonna be our naughty guest bed. <laughs> Look at this. Can I lay inside? <laughs> you can try. So you're gonna be the guest. I'm always naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Not as easy as last time. Just about enough to smuggle someone. <laughs> look at him. Yeah. Doesn't nice, look. Put a nice little mattress in. I'm sure it'll be nice and. Doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> and you can guess what's next. The wire brush and the we sink again. Look at this happy face. <laughs> Super happy she had to carry all the steel. So now we're just tracing the outline on one of our leftover sheets. And then we're going to cut it out and weld it to the bottom and then Yetta's gonna be happy again <laughs> if I don't have to carry it anymore <laughs> and now we got big Berta out <laughs> the nine inch grinder and Patrick will cut the sheet to size and just follow this line but it's gonna be really loud again. Yay. <laughs> Patrick went over with the grinder as well, so there's no pieces of metals any of metal anymore. And are you gonna weld it on now? Yep. 
Yes, more welding. So again, like always, we will glue on the sheet first and then weld it on. And that's what we're gonna do now. You can see all the welds around and in the middle supports as well. And now it's dark and time to tidy up, <laughs> which is Patrick's favorite. <laughs> Thank you. 